Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at the unmatched query wizard. Okay, so I can go to query wizard and I can click on the find unmatched query. And we have a little description here. It says this wizard creates a query that finds records in one table that have no related records in another table. So one table may have 20 records. Um, the next table may have 19 records that are exactly the same, but they may be missing that one record. And this is the record we are looking for. Now, why would you actually do that? Sometimes it's done when we're comparing our new table to backup table that we created a few days ago, or just for analysis purposes, but it is done quite often. All right. So in order to demonstrate how this query works, I created another table and it is called um, client list extra records. So I'm going to open it and this table is actually identical to the client list table right here. So if I open client list, I have 19 records. If I go back to my client list extra records, I have 20 records. All my 19 records are identical. The only difference is this record number 20. And based on the query, we're actually looking for this outcome. Once we run this query, we should only see record number 20. In reality, you may have very complicated databases and you may find hundreds and hundreds of unmatched records. So let's move to the query. I'm going to go and click on query wizard and find unmatched click OK. And first we are starting with the query that has extra records. It could be the query or a table in my in my case, it is the table. So I'm going to click on the stable client list extra records. And next I want to select a table that I'm comparing it to. In this case, it is client list. And finally, I need to find a link between the tables. So what actually links the tables together? And it needs to be a unique identifier. It cannot be a discount because discount is not unique to any single record. We need a unique number or a unique name. Okay. The simplest way here is to use the accounts number. So I'm going to select accounts number in both tables and I'm going to link them using this button. All right. Then we click next and access is asking what fields do I want to see in the final output. And I'm going to say all fields, click next. And finally, we need to name this table. I'm going to say seven find unmatched and click finish. And as we expected, um, everything matched except one record, which is James Baker. And this is how you find unmatched records using Microsoft Access. This is it for today's lesson and thank you very much for watching.